Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and to another tutorial. In this video, you'll see how to design the simple model from practical exercise 9 in part workbench. Let's create a new document. Just click on this plus icon. And next, to create our free shape, what you'll do is to create four sketches and then you'll use the love tool in part workbench to create our free salt. So, what you do, we change here to sketch a workbench and then we create our free sketch. Just click on this icon. Uh, let's select XY plane for this first sketch. Click OK. And now what you do here, we go to sketch a geometry and we click in this arrow and we select this tool, run the rectangle. Just click here and draw this rectangle. And next select constraint symmetrical, this tool here, and select these two center points of this rounded rectangle and then this origin point. Okay, as you can see, we have three degrees of freedom here. So what we'll do next is to select this tool here, constraint radius, and then click in this arc and let's set a radius of 10 millimeters. Okay, and now let's select equal constraint and make this line and this line equal. Let's select horizontal distance tool, this tool here, and for this line, let's set 60 millimeters and enter okay and now let's click this sketch just click on this icon and as you can see we have this sketch now okay and the next step is to create four copies of this sketch here and then we'll change the size and placement of the sketches so what you do we select this first sketch here note that this first sketch here is not attached to anything okay here select this sketch and copy and now let's pass this sketch three times. Just click here, three times. And as you can see, now we have four sketches here. The next thing to do is to change the attachment of these uh, three sketches here. Let's select this first sketch and go to placement, base, placement, and position. This sketch here will change the Z duration to 10 millimeters. Okay, as you can see, and then let's go to this sketch here and change the position here to 35 millimeters like so and now the sketch here let's change the z duration the z position to 50 okay now we have these four sketches here as you can see in these positions and next let's go to this sketch here and double click here what you'll do here is to change this dimension, double click and change to 45 millimeters and enter and now escape two times to leave the sketch and next we go to this last sketch here, double click here and what you do, first we'll select this all sketch here, this rounded rectangle and delete and the next thing to do is to select cycle 2 and then click in this origin point and draw this cycle and uh, next here, we'll set the radius of this cycle. Let's select, click here and select constraint diameter. Okay, and now just select this edge and set 40. Okay, and now leave this sketch. And next, let's move to the part of bench. Select part here. Now in the part of bench, what we'll do is to create a salt using these four sketches here. To do that, we'll use this tool here, love tool. Just click on this icon and from this task panel we need to select these all available profiles so we select this first sketch and then we click here in this icon this sketch and also this sketch and this sketch here now as you can see we have selected these all sketches here now we need to check this option create salt and then click ok and as you can see we have this we have our first salt now and also the sketch is still visible we can hide this all sketch here what you need to do is to go to the left operation and click in this arrow and then select this all sketch and spacebar to hide and now just close this arrow and the next thing that we'll do is to create this hole this hole here to do that we can use this tool here cylinder tool just click in this icon okay and if you rotate this model, you'll see that we have the cylinder here. Okay, 
Next, let's change the size of the cylinder. Let's go to base. Sorry. Let's go to cylinder radius here. We'll change to 12.5. And height will set, we can set 50. No problems. Okay, like so. And next, let's use this tool here, this cube tool, to create this pocket. Select this tool here and then go to cube. And now we change the dimensions here. For example, do it here will be five millimeters. Okay, and height we can set 50, no problem. So let's add 50. Okay, and the length let's change to 80. Okay, as you can see here. Now, if we change to the top view, we can see that this cube here is not in the middle of this part here. We can fix the position of this part here. What you need to do is to select this cube and then go to placement, position and, and next Y position. And you must change here to minus 2.5 millimeters. And if you change to the top view, we can see that it's okay now. Okay, so next what we'll do is to create a fusion of this cylinder, this cylinder here with this cube. Select these two parts here and union tool. Now we have this, okay. And next we'll subtract this part here, each fusion from this loft part. Okay, first we'll select this loft and then control this fusion and now cut to. And as you can see now we have this hole and this pocket here. Okay, next let's create this channel for here. Let's select this edge and also this edge and then channel for two, this tool here. And the size here we can set one. Now click OK. And as you can see now we have this. Next let's create these holes here, this hole and this hole. To create these holes we'll create two cylinders. First, let's change to let's change to sketch our workbench, and then select this face here, and let's create a new sketch. Blank face, no problem. Click OK, and next, select external jump tool, this tool here, and let's extract this edge. Okay, now we have this, and the next we go to sketch jumps. Just click here, and let's select this option here, and now just click in these two endpoints of this edge and draw this cycle and now select constraint diameter tool this tool here and let's set 20 millimeters for this cycle and skip to 10 to leave the sketch and then let's move to part of bench and next let's create an extrusion of this sketch here let's select extrude tool and here we'll change the length here to 35 millimeters and okay and we need to reverse the duration of this extrusion. Let's go, let's select this extrude and then scroll down to reverse it. Let's set to here and enter. Now we have this. Select cylinder tool and now let's attach this cylinder in the bottom face of this cylinder here. Let's select this part here and space bar to hide. And now select the cylinder and go to pump mode. And now just click here and let's change the attachment here. Let's select this face, set initial CS here and scroll down and reverse the duration of the cylinder. Just check this option and now enter and we have this. Select the cylinder and now let's change the range here to 5 millimeters. And here we can set 50, no problem. And now let's make this main part visible, spacebar. Now let's fuse these two parts here. Select these two parts and union tool. Okay, now we have two parts. And the next thing to do is to mirror this part here. To do that, we'll use this tool, mirror tool. What you need to do is to select this fusion part and then this tool here and here in the mirror plane, we can set exit plane and okay. As you can see now we have two parts, these two parts here. 
let's select this fusion again and mirror now let's select yz plane and ok select this fusion again and mirror tool next let's select xz plane and ok ok now as you can see we have these four parts here we have these all mirrors we will use these parts here to create these holes here we have to know that each of the mirrored part is unique even if we see two parts here in the view for example if we hide this fusion here space part what do you see we see these three parts here so it means that if we subtract this fusion from this main part here this chamfer will only create a hole in this side here okay so to fix this problem what we will do is to fuse these all parts here to do that we need to go to the tree view and expand all fusions okay in this way okay and then select these all operations and then go to union tool this tool here and now as you can see we have two parts again but now if we hide this fusion we'll hide these all mirrored parts okay so now we're able to create four holes subtracting this fusion from this main part chamfer so next let's select this chamfer and now control this fusion and cut to and as you can see now we have these holes it's all okay now next let's create this fillet here in these four sides let's select this edge and now control this edge here rotate the model and this edge and also this edge and then we go to fillet tool this tool here and the ridge can be one millimeters no problem just click ok ok as you can see we finished the design of this model it's very easy to design this model in the part workbench thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. And also, if you want to support the channel, there is a link in the description of this video to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.